late April of 2011. More than 120 tornadoes in just one day, taking 300 lives across the South. The more research that can be done on them, the safer people will be. After the storms, Patty Bullion found photos and people's belongings in her neighborhood. She posted images of them on her Facebook page. Georgia, Mississippi, and I spent hours recovering pictures and soaking them and getting them apart. In a new study from the University of Georgia, tornado debris, much of which came from Patty Bullion, was tracked, giving new insight into the far-reaching effects of severe weather. We studied over almost a thousand items. Tornado debris we found can go even further than had been ever documented before. Uh, we found tornado debris that went 100 miles, 200 miles, even a little more than 200 miles. Debris fields following a natural disaster are fairly common, but items landing hundreds of miles away is a concern, especially if a tornado were to hit a hazardous site. We'll want to know real quick if a tornado hits a dump or a nuclear power plant, we would want to know where that debris is going to land. Personal belongings are one thing, but the real threat are large objects and potentially toxic materials, and understanding the direction a tornado tosses them is the researcher's goal. The scientific importance of our study is that we're adding to our scientific knowledge of where tornado debris can go. I would still love for there to be a way to send these home. Meanwhile, Patty Bullion holds on to the hope that these photos will make their way back into the hands of the many people who lost so much two years ago. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Atlanta.